Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Jorge Bols and Hikaru Nakamura. This is a game from Chess Olympia, played in Batumi, Georgia in 2018. Jorge Bols had white pieces and he started with d4. Hikaru Nakamura played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to c3, Bishop to b4, Nimzo, Indian defense, Queen to c2, classical variation, black to move, castling, c5, and d5 are the three most popular moves. With this d5 move, black is preventing e4. In the game, Hikaru Nakamura played b6, allowing white to play e4 e4 by bolts c5 e5 attacking the knight c takes on d4 and bolts was ready for this a3 bishop takes on c3 check b takes on c3 knight to g8 c takes on d4 bolts was feeling very lucky quite happy he was satisfied with his opening bolts was having a ball bishop to b7 white to move, knight to f3, black to move, should black take the knight or not? Perhaps Balls thought that Nakamura loves his bishop too much to exchange it for the knight. If he knew that Nakamura would take, perhaps he would play queen to c3 first and then knight to f3, but he didn't want to move his queen twice. Back to our game. Knight to f3 and Nakamura capture the knight, damaging the pawn structure and removing the defender of d4 pawn. Knight to c6, bishop to b2, white may play d5. Next, knight from g to e7, and now rook to g1, attacking the pawn on g7. How to defend the pawn? Should black castle? Nakamura played a very interesting move. Rook to c8. Nakamura, being a stronger player, goes for complications. Bulls wanted to play d5, but with rook on c file, Bulls was not too confident to play d5 now. So he played queen to e4. Let's take it back. If rook takes on g7, the knight to g6 trapping the rook. Back to our game. Queen to e4. Knight to f5. The knight is well placed on f5 and the pawn on g7 is defending now. Bishop to h3. Threatening bishop takes knight. Knight on c to e7. And now d5. Black to move. Nakamura played a great move in this position which at first looks so ordinary. And the move is b5, threatening rook takes on c4, but this pawn push is clearing the diagonal for the black queen. The game continued. d takes on a6, queen to a5 check, king to f1, d takes on e6, queen to b7, and Nakamura castle at king's side. This is very interesting development. White has a bishop pair, but this is not the whole story, is it? Black king is safe, and white king is not, and that is what matters. The game continued. Rook to d1. B takes on c4, perhaps intending c3. Bishop to c1. Queen takes on e5. Black is now two pawns up. Rook to d7, intending to exchange his rook for two knights. What now? How would you continue? In this position, Nakamura played a very cool move. Rook from c to d8, allowing white to take the knight. Why? Nakamura continued with rook to d1 check. King to g2, the only move. 
Knight to h4 check. King to h1, the only move. Black to move. What would you do? Black, play the move when white resigned. And the move is this awesome. Queen to e1, balls resigned in view of this continuation. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook check. And after bishop to f1, rook takes on f1. Checkmate. And what else? Let's go back. If bishop to f1, then queen takes bishop. And after rook takes queen, rook takes rook. Check. Mate. What a drama. Jorge Bulls started well in the opening, but was unable to match Nakamura's middle game play. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.